All right, I'm going to show you how to how I did logos for the LR1600. So I've got a generic um, image file here. I'm going to open up with an editor using paint.net. And what I want is I only want the text and the graphic. So I'm going to use the magic wand, basically delete the background, and delete the, that white from in there. Everything else should be good. So now what I can do is actually, actually select just that, crop it, and now I'm going to save it as a PNG file. There we go. All right. Next, I'm open up Blender delete all that stuff, add a plane, rotate that um, along the y-axis to 90 degrees, reset the rotation, add a material, And then change the base color to an image and then open up that image that I created. Desktop. There's the PNG version of it. Let me see if the JPEG thing. Ah, I know what I'm doing wrong. Back to the PNG, and then go to the viewport shading. And you can see now you have the logo. And I just need to rotate it along the X again. All right. Now what you can do is you can scale it as you need to. So I'm going to scale it along the Z axis. Or sorry, yeah, Z axis in here. And then you can also, if you have a model, then you can place it on the model where you want it. You can create a duplicate, rotate it on the z-axis. Move it over. And now we've got two logos. I'm going to export it. It's exported. So now I can open it up. Now inside Giants Editor, the, the, on the image where I deleted it, it's now clear. You can see I've got two company logos, one for each side. That's how I did it. So now you might be wondering, OK, well, how do I uh, change this if I wanted to? You can either go back into Blender, or you can export just the part. And you can change the name, too. All right. So now. Now I'm going to right click this, edit with a text editor, change the material name to logo two. All right. So now we can go find a generic logo. We'll do this one. Save the image to my desktop. Good to go. There's the image. There's the image. So now I'm going to edit that back in with paint.net. Delete the background. Delete the white in there. Delete 
the white in there. Save it. Now I can open up logo two. And you notice it is still the original one. So what we do is we select the object. Now we're going to change the albedo map. Desktop. Ah, I did save it as a PNG. Yep, so hold on. Give me a sec. Save as PNG. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in this textures folder, which was automatically created when I exported it from Blender. So we'll leave that. This is the one we need. Okay, so now, now we have this one here. So it's actually going ahead and optimizing it. Click OK. Now you have that. Save it. You can open up the original logo. She already had open. And now we can do an import of logo two. So now you can see we've got both logo one and logo two for the second part.